welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. Um, so, hey, everybody, how's your day going? Um, we are at Wednesday Hump Day for those of you watching it today, watching the joining us today on the show, and um, there is a lot. I mean, a lot. I would like to, I'm trying to strategically move this can out of the camera view, <laughs> like it's just moving on its own. <laughs> um, there's a lot of downloads and channels and things I have been getting that I would absolutely just love to share with you guys. Um, I want to say hi to Stevie, my brother. I hope you're having an amazing day. And to um, all my friends in Florida, please stay safe. I know that you guys have a very um, good routines and uh, things set in place for times like this, but remain safe. Don't, don't be a hero. Okay. Uh, hey, Patrick. Hey, Heather. So happy to see you guys on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. So I'm going to jump. I'm, I am going to take colors. Please, if you are online waiting um, to, to ask a question or connect with a loved one, um, I will be getting to you very soon. Um, and the call-in number is 845-277-9131. But there's some, some things that are really coming through. And we're coming through very, very loud this morning. And they're still in my head ringing. So I just want to share them with you. And hopefully you'll find um, them to be helpful for you either today or another day or whenever. Oh. Here we go. Um, I always say we come from love. We, we return to love and our purpose is love. Okay. We, wherever we come from, we return to. And there are several different planes or areas that we can incarnate on. Okay. So earth is one plane that we can incarnate on. But there are many other planes that we can also incarnate on. One of the things that is, um, I get asked a lot, what is my purpose? And I always say, every single person's purpose is love. And that starts with self-love. Now, I'm not going to say if you don't love yourself, you can't love others because I know people who don't like really like themselves but they love animals they love pets and but they have a really difficult time with humans and even themselves but they find that they can love and be very faithful to pets but not humans okay so they do have love one of the things I was getting this morning that's so important and they really need this message to get out and I hope it's helpful for everybody is when I say we come from love, we return to love. We come from light. We return to light. And love and light are synonymous. Synony they're like they're the same, okay? The more love you are, and that's an important way of stating that, the more love that you are, the more love you become, not loving, but the more love that you are, literally, the lighter you become. Now, this doesn't mean you go from, let's just say, 300 pounds to 90 pounds. That is not what they mean by lighter. Um, your energy becomes lighter. You feel like you're floating. You uh, feel often like you're airy fairy. And your head is in the clouds. You're very optimistic. Um, you have this unwavering faith 
that nobody can touch no matter what. So the more love you become or you are, the more love you are, the lighter you are. Okay. So, and if you have questions, please ask them for everybody on um, YouTube watching. You can put in a question if you have a question or a comment about what I'm saying. Now, when you are love, your body is whole, you feel full, you feel healthy, you are actually healthier, and if not completely healthy, and you have this new perception of the world. Many of the greats have said many times, and not just one, that you are not in this world. This world is in you. And a mind in chaos will create a world in chaos. A mind in turmoil will create a world in turmoil. This is not that the whole world is going to be in turmoil because your mind is in turmoil. This is that if you are in turmoil, the parts of the world you will experience will also be in turmoil. If you are love, the peace comes in, your mind is open to receiving guidance and answers that just pop in that you need, and you find yourself being in a state of peace, which means that you're in um, interacting or the parts of the world that you're interacting with will then be at peace. And, and I know this is a very difficult time um, if you watch the news and you, and you partake in other things, you can think, how is that even possible? How could that even be possible with everything going on? Don't you know there's a supposed war going on in the Ukraine? Don't you know there's this? Don't you know they're threatening that? No, that's not my world. And you might say I'm naive. Am I? Am I naive? Back, way back when, there wasn't internet and televisions. When something was going on in one part of the world, that was their problem. That was their issue. And it wasn't our issue. We didn't even know about it. We didn't even know what was going on. We didn't step in. We didn't feel like we were the big brother of the whole world. I don't know that we're supposed to be the big brother of the whole world. I think we're supposed to be the big brother of ourselves, but whatever. That's just my personal thing-a-ding. Um, so if you can get to that place where you can take those breaths in and when you release, when you breathe out, you just really feel it going. You're just like, holy fudge, that's better than some other things, <laughs> you put yourself in this really amazing place. Now, one thing I want to say is everybody wants to be at peace. And everybody wants to be in a peaceful state. And everybody wants a good life. But they don't sometimes want to let go of what they need to let go of to be in that space of peace. And I'm just going to take a moment to explain that to you because it really is very, it's going to click for some people. So relationships, we view them as extremely important in this life and in this world. And don't get me wrong, they are. You know, don't get me wrong, relationships are very, very important. But we have this sense of loyalty and obligation to people who Mm. Mm. I'm not letting them say it the way they want to say it. I am like keeping my lips closed until they come up with about, okay, that maybe don't deserve it. Okay. For whatever reason. And there are some people that we don't deserve their loyalty also. Don't get me wrong. This goes 
a lot of different ways. Okay. I'm just saying. Um, but what I'm going to say is if somebody um, brings, if their energy isn't matching where you want your energy to be, separate, get your energy to where you want it to be, and then let them catch up or not catch up, but let, let them be who they are and you be who you want to be. But it's very rare that these energies can mix, match, and hang together. Because eventually you're going to be pulled into the chaos and the drama and the he said, she said, and oh, did you hear? And if and you might need to spend some time alone to get to that point, and then you can, you know, decide. I don't, I don't want to be a part of those conversations. I don't want to be a part of that energy. Let's just call it all energy. Okay. Okay, I think that's good for now. I think that's good for now. I'm going to start taking callers. When I call your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. And then your question or connection. And um, uh, we will. I will go through and get to absolutely as many people as I can this afternoon. Um, I have an hour and I really want to be able to spend time with people today and really answer their questions if I can. Um, of course, I am channeling, so it's not if I can, it's, you know, the angels coming in and doing this. Um, there's so much more we could talk about with this and where we are and where we want to be and what we want to be. But let's just go to callers. If you do want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. If you want to join us live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon central for, you know, a minimum of 30 minutes. I try to do 60 minutes. Um, sometimes I can't. Um, so please, Call in and um, ask your question. Um, if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name or their relationship and their first name and their relationship to you. And then uh, we get, I will do the best I can, uh, which means I'll let spirit do the best they can to bring that person to you. Okay, so before I take the first caller in 347, please hold on. I'll be with you in a moment. Um, I'm hearing the name Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. And um, then I hear the song, I'm Unstoppable. I'm Unstoppable. I, don't, I can't, I don't know. I do know that song, but that's the only verse of that song I'm hearing. And... Um, they're flying free and they were a, a source to be rec or a person to be like, uh, I, I'm not going to say this correctly, but a, a source to be reckoned with. Like, uh, I, I don't know how to say that statement, but that's the way they're bringing it through to me. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm not getting that quite. Um, I know it's a statement uh, to be reckoned with, but they were up, um, whatever. However, that statement goes, that's what they're saying. And then also they were a bigger, like solid, a more, um, some people use the word stocky, but I'm going to big boned or solid, a solid person in their stature, in their build, solid. Um, of course, when they were younger, as we age and mature, we don't keep that big, strong um, stature all the time. Um, okay. So I, uh, Jennifer online is saying that Brian is my dad. So, uh, Jennifer, if, if this is your dad, he's coming through, um, he's coming through strong for you. Um, and saying, um, you know, the first message they always want to give is I love you and I'm with you. They always want to give that message and they want to let you know that they love you and they miss you. And they they want you to know that they're uh, they're going to be guiding you. Um, I always call the loved ones who pass over our watchers because they watch over us and they help us through this life. 
and no matter who they were when they were here, now they are um, pure love. Because again, we come from love, we return to love. It's our goal or part of our journey to try to maintain that being love. And how do we do that? Okay, somebody, I just heard somebody say, how do we do that? Because we get afraid we're going to be hurt, right? Um, one of the ways of doing it is realizing you can't be hurt. Yeah, it, your ego, I, and I know this sounds like whatever, your ego can be hurt. Okay, your ego, your physical body can be hurt, but you recover. So, and I know because I'm thinking of many cases in my own head right now where I was like, oh no, that really hurt. <laughs> that nearly broke my booty, okay? <laughs> um, but what I'm getting is if you can let that fall and realize that was... Um, that was a blessing. They were showing me to get away from that or they were doing whatever it is they were supposed to be doing to put me in a different situa situation and they being angels, heaven, whatever. Um, sometimes things have to get, because we don't walk away when we're supposed to walk away. We let things get so bad that we end up suffering more than we should have. And again, this goes back to where it started. Trying to be so loyal and to be such a good person and thinking, I can't walk away their family. I can't walk away. They've been my friend. I can't walk away. I love this person. Is it reciprocated? And is it reciprocated appropriately? Um, are they even capable of giving the kind of love that you, first of all, deserve, second of all, need, third of all, any kind of love? Because some people really, they have difficulty with that. So what I'm going to say right now is don't... Um, if we can walk away sooner when we th see things are not going the way they're supposed to, we can then get into a situation that's a better situation. And as soon as you see that it's not what it's supposed to be, it's okay. Not everybody is for everybody. Point blank. Not everybody is supposed to remain with everybody. We have soul contracts that we make and these soul contracts are for sometimes for a day, sometimes for a conversation, sometimes for a month. It, 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 our soul contracts, sometimes we try to make them go longer because at one point we got this one feeling and now we want to get that feeling again and we're not supposed to. Okay, I'm going to go to callers now, 347. 347, hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, hi, this is Katie. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Katie, how are you today? How can I help you? Um, I'm good. Um, I wanted to ask, I love what you were talking about. Oh, oh my, my God, I love it. <laughs> Thank but, you. <laughs> so um, I want to ask a question. It, it, um, so I am... Uh, I'm looking for, well, I want to attract employment that pays me more than enough money. I'm doing something I'm interested in doing. Um, I'm, I'm, I do currently, I took a little like a tip project, but it's not really paying um, anything. And it's not, I'm not doing anything interesting, but I just took it so I could at least have some kind of income. But I want to attract um you know, position in my field, paying more than enough money. And um, yeah, I wanted guidance about that. Okay. So thank you, Katie. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, re-listening, we're going to clear anything stopping or blocking us from our perfect position that brings us more, um, more money than we want and need. Okay, so let's clear that. And then let's clear this position also has um, really healthy culture and co workers. So let's clear that. Now, Katie, one of the things I'm hearing actually, I, I'm hearing so many things for you. And if, if some of these things are for you, they may be for somebody else who's listening in. So I'm, I'm trying to be very compartmentalized today, which I'm getting bombarded with so many messages today. So I hope all of these are for you, but if they're not, 
it's okay. Somebody else listening, it, it might be for them. But the first thing I'm hearing is you might end up with a position where at least temporarily or part-time, it's a from home position. Okay. So where whatever this position is, mm -hmm. it might allow you the ability to at least like certain days or some days or unless there's a meeting, you are working from home and you're able to do some things. I also hear the word subcontract or contractor. Now this to me, I'm going to give you like a little example of this. Let's say you have a certain set of skills. I do not know why that keeps coming up. It's from that. I think, I think I've never ever used that statement before, but now every time I use it, I see that movie clip of that guy going, I have a very specialized set of skills and I will find you. And I, every time I say it, I'm so sorry. That makes me break from my channeling. Um, Jesus, Moses and Mary, let's get back on track. Um, you have a very specialized set of skills. And, but, 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 Oh my God, I laughed so hard. I snorted. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry you had to hear that. Um, you can, you can, almost, it's almost like you can set up your own little entity and contract that out to certain companies and not necessarily be employed. How do I say this? Not necessarily be employed by them, but like you're doing work for them. Um, and maybe on a contract basis, like I'll do this for nine months or a year or six months for your company. And these are the parameters. I feel like if you set up, a, um, if you, if you set up your resume more like you're a business, you are going to get everything you want and then some. So, and how would that look? You can Google that. I, I just heard that question. How would that look? Yeah, yeah, I, I can do, yeah, I know I, um, I could do kind of like, I guess it's like, you know, you could freelance and also yes. you could do consulting and you yes. can also, um, I'm, I do I work, I do also do contract projects, meaning tent projects where I work with tent agencies as well. And um, you can also offer your own services to uh, to company, like independent contractor type of stuff. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I do know which I do know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I'm open to creating something like that. And um, yeah, I've been applying, but I don't know if I should keep applying because I applied and I really haven't heard much back. So I didn't know if I should keep doing it or just take a break. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. There's a couple things. There's the short term and uh -huh. then the long term. If you do so, choose. Okay. Everything in life is a choice. So short term, um, right. be a little bit more discerning about what you're applying to or what you're bidding on, okay? Um, also, put a, I don't think it's called an ad, but put a ad out, like put out your services, like, yeah, advertise your services mm -hmm, and let some mm -hmm. people come to you, okay? Whether this means setting up a, a website mm -hmm. or something else. And now long-term, I actually feel like long-term, you're going to have people working under you that you also subcontract out or, you know, do whatever with. That's long term down the line if you choose. Now, the second thing I'm getting, and I'm not sure if this is for you or for someone else, but I'm just going to say mm -hmm. this might be something from the past, something you're doing now, something in the future. Do you also have a crafty side, a side where you can? Yes. Oh, yes. thank God. Oh, my God. Yes. I was so afraid I, to I say that. <laughs> Yes, I do have a, um, I have, uh, yes, I have, a, um, I wanted to, um, like candles, body butters, t-shirts, okay. like fun stuff. I, and, and, and also I do, I do, do food too. 
Okay. So he, I, I love that. Thank you for confirming it. You don't even know, like I was almost sweating. I'm like this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say it. Okay. I see you using your craft, your crafting ability to make some really very awesome things for hair. Okay. So the same materials uh -huh. like that, you're some of the same materials that you're using for for candles so, and, and all that stuff you're going to use for, and I'm getting this and I don't even want to say it on the air because I feel like this is just, it might be for you, but you know, when we use like hair clips and rubber bands and whatever we use in our hair it, it, to use certain oils or essential oils on them or create that product that has that oil in it. So that like, let's just say, for example, mm -hmm. if you're putting your hair in a pony and, um, and it, it, that has lavender, that's going right into like your scalp and that relaxation, but whatever it is, I just see you crafting mm -hmm. some hair, accessories thank you for that word and being really good with it and knowing they you don't have to create enough for like the masses you're creating very exquisite one-offs for people who are willing and want them that will be able to reuse them i hope that makes sense for you and the crafting part of it um definitely double down on that, like the candles, the shirts, everything, double down on that and stock up on some things now, especially if you see them on sale and start creating. And then in October slash November, um, really start putting them on display, especially that second and third week of November. And then make sure you have a lot of stock in December and market them as unique Christmas gifts and holiday gifts. Um, just a little side note. I don't know if this is true, conspiracy theory or not. I don't know if this is true, but I did hear that uh, the big chains, the big, big chains, um, you know, Walmart and Target and a couple of other really big chains cut their orders in half for the holidays. They had set orders and they literally cut them in half. Again, I want to say this. They're planning this. So we have to be prepared on our end with things like this, with your crafting and creating gifts. So you big chains, you do what you do. We got us. We've got us. We, you don't know. <laughs> like, we have to be able to look at them and say, y you forgot who you were playing with. You forgot. We are the creators. <laughs> we will create. That is what we are here for. <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. Okay, I love each and every one of you so stinking much. I will be back Monday at noon for 60 minutes. If I didn't get to you, I'm so sorry. I will do my best to get to you on Monday. Thank you and have an amazing weekend.